so hi guys how are you thank you so much for coming back welcome back to my youtube channel my name is mokami kaduki i am a business lady i am a mom <laughs> i am a musician and now a youtuber so today on this video i'm going to talk about my pregnancy journey and then this one will be a series because after that i'll come talk about motherhood being a new mom first time mom a first time mom a new mom how it has been up to now that my boy is now turning two years and a half in the next few weeks okay but for today we are here for the pregnancy journey and how it is started so um, as i had said in the other video i have known my husband for the last 10 years actually we first met one-on-one -on -one in 2013. I was still in high school. I was in form four. <laughs> yeah, so then we started dating immediately. I completed high school. So we started our dating journey in 2014. And we have been dating ever since. Mpaka leo we are still dating. Because I can say <laughs> we are still dating. Tunabiango are dating continues, right? So we had dated for since 2014 to 2021 before we, no i'm lying we had dated for six years before we decided getting a baby because i conceived in 2020 so you can see we had dated for six years before we decided to conceive and and when we were ready he told me he won't rush me we will only do it when i'm ready and by 2020 i had already graduated in 2018 i had already experienced employment for the whole of 2019 and some part of 2020 i was working at kcb bank for the largest part of 2019 come 2020 i felt this is not the field that i want to be in and i quit and i started business so then came corona and i was like now i've graduated i've tried employment and now i've tried business so i think what am i waiting for and we were like he had told me that we will only do it when i'm ready and by 2020 i felt that i'm ready so it was very intentional <laughs> the timing was very intentional i knew what i was doing so i conceived the baby in july 2020 now my pregnancy was between now july 2020 i know even the dates but now i won't share <laughs> and i gave birth in april 2021 so this kind of one i think i'll just write a babies you are your duration yanya that was when i was like why why is this too short let me just before anything happens leave a legacy <laughs> I think that is what pushed me to feel like I was ready because this year had taken time. I graduated in 2018. I could have taken my I could have gotten pregnant back then because we were living together since I was in second year, I think. But we took our time. He gave me time, I graduated. Then after that, he gave me time to experience employment. He gave me time to think whether I want to run a business first or what I want to do with my life. And I'm very grateful for that, Baba Maj. So I conceived the baby in 2020, July, to give birth in 2021, April. Okay, so this is how my pregnancy was. And since the conceiving was very, very intentional, yeah, okay, see, come on, I need to know you can by three months at Hajuya Konabol. But me, me, after the first week, I already knew. And that was the first mistake that I did. Because now, the moment you know that you are, I don't know what that that does to the brain. When I'm going to my home, I'm going to go sickness. I had a terrible homesickness in high school. That way, I'm going to go morning sickness. Yes, yeah. Zangu zilianza immediately because I was like mentally aware I'm pregnant. So zilianza immediately. Even yena penda nyama for so so many months. I could not even stand the harufu. Uh, uh, how did this start? So, si kutaka kupima immediately. 
So I took two weeks. Ndo nikaenda nikapima ikatokea two nines. <laughs> ikatokea two nines and we were so excited. I remember us jumping all over the house. We were so so excited. <laughs> First try even I went to So we were so excited and the journey started now after verifying it's true. So I had set the date for conceiving. We thank God it happened on the first try. So, um, being a first time pregnancy, I didn't know that you should start going for clinic as soon as you find out that you are pregnant. Actually, this is an advice. My doctor told me, uh, like you see me, I was intentional. See, I should have started seeing him way before I even got pregnant. Imagine, you should start taking those in a tango of folic, folic acid you should start taking them even way before you are pregnant so if you are planning to get pregnant next month for those who plan you should start seeing your gyna like a month or two before so since it was my first time i didn't know i had people start clinic by three months and that is what i did so from july my first clinic I went in October and the doctor was like, Hi, for three months you just okay me. Because you see those first three months, they are very important to be taking those tablets. The tablets you take, kuna nyuchua pregnant care, uh kuna zingine and so me kwa nimbe prescribe wa zingina by then I didn't take pregnant care. He prescribed me as a zingine zuka zinaka kama ni mchanga but koko capsule. So he was Thing, I should have started taking them even before I got pregnant and that's what I'm intending to do with the consequent subsequent the following pregnancies but for the first one I didn't know what to do so Nikaanza Kusimeza at the third month so this is an advice for anyone planning to get pregnant you should do it and I'm insisting you should start even seeing the doctor way before you get pregnant or immediately you notice you are pregnant okay so that was the first mistake that i made but it was all okay nikapewa hizo vitu nikaanza kumeza but as i was saying the moment you find out you are pregnant i don't know what it does to the brain even if huku meharibiki huku meharibiki the first two weeks before i confirmed sikuwa na nini but the moment i saw that line these are the results on Askianga. They start manifesting themselves moja kwa moja, moja kwa moja. Mimi likuwa natapika vayi, nosia, nosia, mimi ndo likuwa ina nipeleka, gosh. He, that was a dark period. But I don't think nikuwa natapika kwa gari, kwa matatu. By the time we were getting pregnant, we had not gotten our first car. So we were still using public transport. So, kuna time haki nilikuwa na alafu, okay, I'll get there. Kuna time nilikuwa ni mejikaza haki kwa basi, nimeketi hapa kwa conductor. Na usi imenipelekesha pale also. Sitaki kutani, matuwa kwa basi. Hey, wezi anga kutapika mimi ya hatu. So, what I did, I couldn't hold it anymore. Mini liachilia tu, so I can milugu. I didn't like want to milugu you get so niliachilia tu ikanimwagikia upi and i was able to hold mpaka nikafika mweki vizuri he was still living in mweki by the time i was conceiving then another thing during that time as i had mentioned before i had started a business i was selling designer perfumes online and also i had a physical shop in mweki although the online business was doing very much better than the physical shop so by the time I found out that I was pregnant, you know designer perfumes ni hizi za kupima na syringe. Naona? So those things are very very strong. Whether you are pregnant or not, the nini yenye inakuanga na hizo vitu it's usually very very strong. So I couldn't continue with the business unfortunately, but the first trimester and second trimester sini mengana na hizo vitu I made sure I've sold all of them online. When you water muli menua, thank you so much. I could even send parcels to Kisumu, send parcels to Kirinyaga, to Kunaita, Kitale, to Mombasa. Imagine I used to market online on Facebook alone. I didn't even use Instagram back then. I only used Facebook designer. So I would advise someone who that time I was 
I was packaging it as uh, I will orient you in the business if you are a beginner. I'll tell you the perfumes that goes and I'll tell you the mixes that will work. So you can now train na pia sasa na wauzia unaona and they sold out quite quickly nilizimaliza i think the moment i found out i was pregnant kajua hii job sitauzana nayo kabisa kabisa nayo hiyo kazi ya perfume and dress niajiri mtu wenu as unaona ni za kupima si kitu ati umemwachia nguo uza hii nguo like accountability it's very very hard to employ someone from outside that why i couldn't continue with that business but imagine up to today i still get those requests from the post that i made on facebook but on abatanga clients hi i've seen your number on facebook now the designer perfumes nataka na wholesale so soon and very soon to reach your biashara because i had a very very good foundation i could train my customers i could tell them the how the market is na kuna wengi sana nili support si nini hata nilikuwa napeleka kama hiyo siku nasema all soaps nili haribika kwa bus you see hizo perfumes kuzishika hivi harufu hiyo inabaki ngi hapo kwa mkono 3 days unaona na mimi ndio huyu bele he akinimeteseka actually that was the toughest one na most of them i think ni za kujiletea kwa maana kama singekuwa na deal na hizo perfumes hazitoki ezenye zenye hazitoki kwa mkono hiyo alafu maybe hizo ma kutapika tapika hivyo singekuwa nayo i wouldn't say they sumbua i only had nausea which was very strong but i could not pick up this puke but then siku nyingine i don't know what i ate ah i remember we went to garden city shop right time supermarket nilikuwa huko ilikuwa inaitwa shop right mimi na tama zangu nikaona skiros Kiros, zinaitanga Jesus Kito, sito, tunini, tunakata tiktak. Hezi ni kanuna ni, eh, 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 yon siku nilitapika. Nilitapika, unatapika, unasusu at the same time. Actually, from that day, mi naogoka hizo skito, zota stakangi kuziona karibu na mimi. So, the first trimester, apart from that nausea, I had so much sleep, usin easy. Yeah, to me, I can't even lie. I mean, to me, I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. Actually, remember, you see, my hubby is usually very busy. So, when I say to visit, to go to India, to go to Nairobi, to go to that time, we are also planning to buy a plot to Jenga. So, yeah, I'm going to party. I'm going to go to India, to go to visit. So, to go to Nairobi, I'm going to go to Kampuni, to serve the sales lady and some other customers. Eh, me, I'm going to enjoy a couple of trips. I slept. I slept the site to keep the site now on a but now on a new one of singizi and I slept on my way back. Hey, singizi look at me in the location. Actually, you don't know how to book a. Go and mend a corner. Shamba na uko mwali mufam. Hey, kuna time you are so desperate for a plot you wanted to buy the sites na the site na nanga ziki wambali kuinga kwenye naishi. Anyway, we thank God for that. So, singizi first try and stand and not ya. Come second trimester, I started now eating foods. Kuna food singe kula kama nyama kabisa. But we really love to go to Blue Springs. Suni kwa napeleka habi, anakula, ananua kanisu kake, anakula tuna home. For so long, I couldn't, even cooking at home, it was tough. Because we have to go, we have to go. Alafi kafika mahali, I hated our home. Kwa na wambie butu wende tulale rungai leo. Tunaenda tunatafta huti mkoko tudalala huko like I was a psycho mota by the way even don't know na Kuna siku tulito Kuna mjia sayo hatuna gari Tunaenda tunamatatu mka umbia kilo staki kilala huko kendi tu urungai And we went, we went with a matatu tukatoka saa moja huko Tukatoka tukaenda tukapanda zina matiza ronga Tukaenda tukalala kahutili kilani hapa And I was okay, like that's all that I wanted for that day. I didn't want to sleep home. That was the second trimester for me. Then that trimester, how was it? That trimester, bleeding. Now I'm doing kakwashida. Kulala now, I even got the pregnancy pillow. You know it in your suffering to cause who is angry kulala. Ukilala hii position, it's not comfortable. You're not even able to breathe. Hey, it took a toll on me that trimester. 
but I was still able to kutoka me you haiko yeye ni nani but ilikuwa nimefika place na walking we had to na time ilikuwa natembea hii to love taking walks my sister nyambu by the way kalikuwa kamefunga shule kafakuja kwenye kaisha yes nimemtembeza mwiki hizo my estate zote za mwiki hizo tu mimi ni estate sasa nikisema jina estate na wadis na feel kama na ibisis but hizo malens zote za nikiendanga kuomba <laughs> Nikao nazunguka unaona huko mwiki kuna watu wamejenga kwao. So mimi nikiona mtu na uba pale naambia hebu nipe avocado. Tunachuniwa, tunaenda kwingine tunapata mwingine amelima kokomanga zinaita mastaki kusema hiyo jina ya English haki mtaroroa. Hiyo jina ya English yenye inaanza P pomegranate. So I'm being like that. So we got ndiko tunazunguka na nyambu mimi nikiona mtu anepanda hizo naambia akinipe na chini wa kama tano hivi tunaenda kwingine tunaenda tunapata mwingine amepanda avocado nipe nichunie mimi akilikuwa na tabia mbaya za kuomba omba huko eh mweki but the people who live ni ni watu ni mtu wao so wamepanda hizo matunda zimeza hivi hata hangauzi kama hiyo kwa manga ni tunio unajua ni pesa ngapi na unajua inasaidia na pressure kwanza saa venye aliona bila ilikuwa inafika huko naambia ukijiange every week na kujia kila wiki kila wiki zikiza unakujia kwa zinasaidia anga na pressure na inasaidia na damu hiyo matunda so kani suggest it's very good for pregnancy and she offered to be giving me every week ah thank you so much mama i remember huko <laughs> mwiki kitalamka na deliverance road utalamke karibu kike uko darasha then wa avocado alikuwa na huku mwiki good hope i hope watu wa mwiki mnashikanisha hizo areas mwiki good hope academy i think so eh but it was a nice journey i really loved it and by the surprisingly i found out the gender of my baby when he was 11 weeks in my tummy <laughs> it was the first scan ile ya mtoto kuanganiwa ama kosawa ama na form his real heartbeat eh si kuna scan wanafanya ndo wasikia heartbeat unfortunately the sonographer tulipewa anaona gender azima iki ni kipi imagine ikiwa miezi tatu acha ni break ya news ni kipi <laughs> but hiyo kitu hata naambia anga watu wanaona kama ni stories za jaba but imagine it's true i knew the gender of my baby when he was 11 weeks inside my tummy too early right so after that i kept going for scans every week just to confirm cuz no one is saying your intention number it's too early to know but hiyo alisema tu akiwa na authority like ako sure ako sure kenya anasema and it turned out by the time he was by the time he was getting to 22 23 weeks which is the ideal time to know the gender of the baby and it was confirmed and it was confirmed kuna time mingine nilikuwa na kwanza hizo za after 11 weeks I used to go for a scan every month so zingine unaenda unaambia ai i think ni kadem ai i think so walikuwa wamechanganya but the moment nilifanya a 3 a 4d is it 3d so in a black and white ni 2d then kuna 3D ya black and white na kuna 3D yenye unakaona venye kako ile I don't know whether inaitwa 3D ama 4D kuna hawa wenye wanajitanga jione ultrasound they are mobile so they used to come to Mwiki alternatively you can go to their branch na kuanga hapo Mutindwa Mutindwa consolidated bank hapo juu I think so I used to go there unakaona like unaona in 3D so hapo ndo nikaona vizuri nikaona wow this is my pp <laughs> na siji kwa nini yani every sonographer alikuwa anatambia na ako na mguu strong <laughs> that was the first thing alikuwa anasema na shida nikikaangalia hii miguu yake kwa nini alikuwa anashinda wakisema ako na mguu strong so i knew the gender of my baby at the, at 11 weeks three months and i was three months pregnant which was too early but it came out the same then uh anything else to do with pregnancy journey any notable events apart from knowing the gender to ali when i don't think by then my pregnancy was very smooth 
akawa kujisumbua atoll na atoll actually picha zangu za baby shower na za zieka you can see i was still very energetic at that time i was already nine months pregnant or heading to no you see nine months zinanzanga after eight months one week siko on the month of nine months hapo i was still very strong my baby shower was on march 20 something and i gave birth in april 15th then this dude of mine kalikuwa afanika talia kwa mwili <laughs> he, he was removed at 41 weeks because unaona alikuwa ashapitisha 40 weeks actually not half of it hako kubadilishwa my gynecologist could not have accepted a pitisha hizo siku zote juu ya meconium you know what meconium is hiyo kupu yao if they they wakipitisha time sana na wiki moja na siku they can pupu there wakule na iwa affect na get so my gyna could not have accepted me pitisha so it happened akaniambia wewe na kupea mpaka birthday kifika birthday kama labor hanijakuja wewe jileta tu jisubmit kuja to induce guys so hizo siku zenye alinikia the last clinic I was like kila siku naomba 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 wapi 40 weeks 5 days later the dude is not even coming not even showing signs so came last day and nilikuwa nimepoa hiyo deadline the other day of 15 April 2021 kama guys bibi vizuri and all my days the day today is the day naenda ku NDC wow I remember we had not yet gotten our castle tukaenda tu na mata asubuhi ya head back the bag mimi niliji submit naona venye tu inaitanga waje kujipeleka <laughs> kuji submit tukaenda my dog was based at Kenyatta tukapita Kenyatta Ooh, and he administered the first <laughs> and with that coming in the other video i was induced i was induced to labor So the first time I took it at Kenyatta and I was going to give birth at Coptic Hospital Gong Road. So I was like, "Hey, na tumetoka home na nje naweza enda kukula tao KFC." Akaniambia hapana sasa enda enda saa hii Coptic kwa dimitiwe. Vitu zinaweza enda sawa any time from now. I was like, "Oh my god, this is the day." So ikaindisiwa na yako katab kamoja kaniambia aenda kwanza upatile bed huko Coptic nitakuja he was a private doctor ako base Kenya to so yange kuja tu Coptic saa kuni attend so kaniambia aenda kwanza mpewe kitanda ukipata kitanda nitakuja kukuangalia then you will uh, you will update me on the progress in case labor comes yeah and that's how my pregnancy has been the next video i'm going to do is about how i delivered labor and delivery after being induced so stay tuned guys it's the coming up video i think i'll do it right now uh nifanye ikiwa sahi then sasa na motherhood ndo nitafanya kesho right so so thank you so much for tuning in remember to subscribe i'm putting so much effort in this love statistics na niambia you all who are watching you have not subscribed 80% of you have not subscribed so kindly consider subscribing it gives me more tisha to continue to record more videos in your So subscribe. Labor and delivery coming up shortly. <laughs> Bye.